Cattle wrestling has become a way of life, and ending these traditions, say local leaders, isn't a one day's job, but a long and painstaking process. Through formal education and formal training, we shall be able to provide uh, uh, job opportunities for these young people. And these opportunities will be options for castle wrestling, because castle wrestling is also an occupation. But if you can give them options elsewhere, uh, as government workers, as company workers, as businessmen, we think that they will hate going back for uh, cattle wrestling. Kachal Liba Member of Parliament Samuel Pogisio told KTN that any efforts to control wrestling must begin with key players understanding the needs and aspirations of the so-called cattle wrestlers. You have to understand their culture, you have to understand their background, you also have to, to understand the extent to which they have been uh, marginalized in order to understand why cattle wrestling rages on. How far are we from these people? Why can't we get closer to these people? Why can't we help them to understand that uh, the world is changing and that um, there is more to life than, than cows? And the leaders are in agreement that education is a mandatory component of any initiative aimed at controlling cattle rustling. That is trying to get a full you know, equipped school for, for all these communities and then, if possible, force them get the two generations to go to school, get all the kids to go to school. And after that, you're doing so, actually you're changing the mindset of, the, of, of those children that have gone to school. And according to those in the know, disarming communities that participate in livestock theft, though a complicated exercise, is certainly a step in the right direction. It is not something that government can do in one community. If you disarm, say, Marakwet, the Pokot are not disarmed. Then the next thing, as soon as the army carrying operation in, in Marakwet go, these people will be there, slaughtering everybody. Controlling cattle rustling may be a tall order, but one the government must undertake to provide security in the North Rift. Government peace initiatives have often been ignored by warring communities, and perhaps a change in tactics may be necessary. Farida Kaunei for KTN News.